Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch 301 video. And today, we are back in FSX. And today, we are going to talk about the Boeing Dreamlifter. Which is, um... As you can tell, it's a it's a plane, yeah. So, uh, what is the Boeing 747 Dreamlifter? Now, this is a modified version of the 747. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. No, just kidding, obviously. As you can see right here, we have kind of the normal front of a Boeing 747. We even have kind of like a passenger area with this door and in the upper floor we can find the cockpit which also is a normal 747 cockpit. The front of this plane is pretty much a 747. Now as you would imagine this plane is used for cargo purposes. Obviously no one is gonna be flying passengers unless it's a very unluxurious airline. Maybe Ryanair could fit a few hundred people in that one. Now this plane is kind of the rival to the Airbus Beluga and this was introduced in 2006 which is not too long ago actually this plane came out when this flight simulator that I'm playing right now came out now you know what let's just go ahead and fly first full power takeoff I'm going to die today so the problem is I think my joystick is broken or something I don't have yaw control which kind of suck oh jesus we really don't have yaw control no rudder control now this plane obviously has four engines also just like the 740 this is pretty much a 747 400 uh yeah that's all that is to it can we take this plane off from this small runway i mean 747s are normally operating here too so that should not be too much of a problem oh oh jesus we have died hello swiss 001 you have just summoned me jesus christ yeah, we're dead. Okay, that might have not worked out too well. Oh, we're upside down or something. Now, what is this plane used for? I mean, obviously, this cargo plane is used for... For big cargo. So actually, this is used for transporting airplane parts. And um, that's kind of all that is to it. Now, let's try to take off... As far as I know, it actually uses the normal 747 engines, which actually kind of can lead to trouble, which you can see right here. I mean, a normal 747-400 is able to take off and land as well. Uh, maybe let's try another airport then. Now we have spawned into Frankfurt Airport. Let's try taking off. All right, let's take off or something. That was really late, actually. This is like a 10,000 feet runway. I don't know how this could happen, but, but we have actually not crashed that's good now something that you might wonder um when looking at this plane is how do you uh put cargo in a huge aircraft like this we have a little hint on the left side as you can see right here we have two hinges the airplane basically completely opens sideways and we are about to crash actually yeah my throttle controls and my yaw controls are completely broken this is quite weird to fly now right now we only have four boeing dream lifter planes that were produced and are flying and maybe let's try landing. We are way too fast. How do I apply the brakes? Now, let's actually open this um, cargo door here. I cannot zoom out. This is completely broken. Now, in order to open the cargo door, we just have to press uh, Shift E and 2. Oh, yes, it worked out. It worked. <laughs> yeah, now this does not look too safe. I don't know. <laughs> what if we take off now? I'm just wondering. Oh, yes, we can. Oh no, I mean, damn, that's a lot of space though. Now let's go ahead and um, take off slash die. Oh no, we're actually rotating. Oh, rip truck or whatever that vehicle is. Oh, oh yes, we have taken off or, or not. Oh jeez. And this kind of summarizes the physics of FSX, right? I don't know how this plane is able to fly normally. You know, just a normal flight on the Beluga. Did I just say Beluga? I mean, obviously the Dreamlifter. Now you may wonder, what is this plane actually used for? It's only used to transport parts of the 787. I kind of like the gear tilt design here. I always like gear tilt. It makes landings look very butterous. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.